this is Jo from Maths Tutor Me. Today we're doing measurement and we're going to learn today about finding the area of some special quadrilaterals. The quadrilaterals that we're looking at are the parallelogram. The formula for the area of a parallelogram is A equals base times height. Now that, as you probably know, is exactly the same as a rectangle. But for a parallelogram, if I just draw a little one over here, a parallelogram is a pushed over rectangle. The base is down here. The height must be the perpendicular height. So you'll always need a right angle somewhere and that height there will be your perpendicular height, the h that you need for your formula. Okay, we're also going to look at the trapezium. So this is the formula for a trapezium, half height brackets a plus b. Now if I draw a trapezium, Here is a typical trapezium, the parallel sides, there they are. Okay, the A and the B are the two parallel ones, doesn't matter which one's which. And the height is the perpendicular height between them. And the third one here, the formula for a kite or a rhombus is the same formula. A is equal to half XY. So a kite looks like this. where we have these top two sides the same and the bottom ones down here the same length so that one and that one are equal that one and that one are equal is a kite x and y are the diagonals so going across there and across there x and y the two diagonals and it's the same for the rhombus the two diagonals are the x and the y okay so they're the formulas that we're going to use today let's have a look in the examples how to use them Find the area of each shape. In question one, we have a parallelogram. Okay, so it looks a bit like a rectangle, but it's pushed over, so it's not 90 degrees. So our formula is A is equal to BH, where B is the base and H is the perpendicular height, which is given here as 15. So I just need to do 27 times 15, and I get... 405 centimetres squared. In question two, I have a kite. It's pushed over on its side, but that's okay. The formula for a kite is half xy. Now the x and the y are the diagonals. So 11 is one of my diagonals here. And the y would be this one. Now I'm only given 5, I'm only given halfway, so I actually need to double that and use 10 for the whole way across. So A is equal to half times by 11 times 10. Half times 11 times 10 is 55 centimetres squared. On to question 3. This is a trapezium, so these ones here are my two parallel sides, although probably used to seeing the little arrows on there to show that. And this one here is my height, my perpendicular height. So our formula for a trapezium is half h bracket a plus b. Substituting into that formula, we have half times by the height, which was 8, and then we have a bracket, A and B are these two, doesn't matter which one goes first. I'm going to do 18 plus 14, close bracket. Okay, and then we just need to calculate half times 8 times bracket 18 plus 14. 128 millimetres squared. And for a bit of fun here, question four, we have two of these shapes combined together. Actually, one of them is a triangle that we learned about last lesson. So we have a kite here and we have a triangle. So let's start with our triangle. From last lesson, we learned that a triangle was half the base times the height. So half times base is 18 and the perpendicular height with the right angle here is 20. Okay, there's my triangle done. 
Now I want to add on the kite. The kite is, the formula is half xy. So half x and y are the two diagonals, 16 times 28. Now, it's a bit hard to see, a bit hard to mark on there, that 28 goes the whole way through. Okay, so it is half times 16 times 28. Okay, so half times 18 times 20 plus half times 16 times 28. Notice that I didn't use the brackets when I'm calculating my calculator. You don't actually need to have the brackets. It's just often nice to have them there so that you can see this is the triangle, this is the kite. Okay, equals 404 centimeters squared. Okay, so over the page, here is four questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and then restart to see the answers. Question one, we're starting with a parallelogram. So the formula is A is equal to BH. The base is 8.6, and the height is 4.3. Times them together, 8.6 times 4.3. 36.98 meters squared. Okay, question two, this shape is a trapezium. The formula for a trapezium is half H bracket A plus B. Okay, substituting in, the height is six millimeters. The A and the B are the two parallel ones, seven and 10. And then we calculate half times six times bracket seven plus 10 is 51 millimeters squared. Question three is a rhombus. Now this five is pointing at just this half of the line and the three is for this part, okay? So when we do our rhombus, our formula is half x, y, but they need to be the whole way for them to be the x and the y. So this whole length would be 10, and that whole length would be six. So half times 10 times six is 30 centimeters squared. Okay, and finally question four, we have two shapes joined together here. Let's start with this one here on the top. It is a parallelogram. We have a base and a height. So base is 6.8 times the height, which is 7.3. Okay, that's the parallelogram done. Then we have a trapezium, which is half the height. The height is 5.5, and then we have brackets, the A plus B, which is these two sides here, 6.8 plus 8.4, okay, equals, let's type that in, 6.8 times 7.3 plus half of 5.5 times 8.6 plus 8.4. We get 91.44 meters squared. And there it is. That's it for today. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.